Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Easy Talk Podcast. I got a good one today for you guys. I got one of my homeboys from high school. His name's Tig. And uh, we're going to let you guys get to know him and stuff. So, how you been, Tig? Shit, just surviving. Just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I like to do with my... Uh, I'm going to start just doing with this, my guest. You're going to be my first one I'm actually doing this with. I like to check in with everybody. So, I like to check in to work, see where you're at mentally physically emotionally and i got this from a podcast called i am athlete i don't know if you ever seen that before. yeah i watched that yeah sure. i did it on david the last time but i this is the first time i'm actually doing it with a guest so mentally where are you at mentally on a scale of one to ten one to ten then what's like what's the scale what's five so what's one ten? one being the worst ten being i'm i'm solid like i'm untouchable right now I could give it like a cool, a cool six, seven, six, seven. You care to share on that one? Why do you feel like that? Uh, you know, everybody go through something. It's just I got a lot going, a lot on my plate. Okay. You know, keep family good, just like I'm good. You feel me? But that's about it. Physically, where you physically, at? I'm straight. I'm trying to get my weight back up. I'm skinny right now. <laughs> People don't know. They know I'm skinny. They probably laughing at me right now. <laughs> so uh, you said you know you got a lot going on right now, and I know you're doing football and this music thing. So you kind of want to talk about <clears throat> uh, your JUCO experience. You know, what's the process? What did you go through, and everything? What's your journey been like so far? Well, JUCO. Juco was fun. I'm not even gonna cap. Juco was fun. People say Juco, you don't wanna go Juco, but it's worth it for sure. You can go Juco. You can get out. I seen plenty of plenty of athlete, athlete, athletes. You feel me? Get out. But it's fun. You gonna have it's it's not the kind of experience you you would expect, but it's worth the the experience to get out and experience something new. Right. A lot of kids don't even have the chance to even graduate because of their situation at home. That's why I chose to go JUCO because why not? Yeah. To be course. honest. And honestly, you know, your first year, I, I remember seeing you, you kind of like lighting everything up. Like you had a lot of eyes looking at you and stuff, you know, because you're playing wide receiver, you know, you dominating it on the field and stuff and seeing you get all these looks and stuff and I was like, man, he's doing it. Are you still are you still playing right now or? Uh, currently no. Uh, I'm like I might get into boxing, so this is the first time anybody has heard it. So, y'all know any boxing gyms? Send them to me, cause it's gonna get some work <laughs> for sure. <laughs> now, uh, uh, reflecting back on what you were saying about the JUCO, about how hard it is, you know, people's situation and stuff. A lot of people don't know that California JUCOs are tougher to go to because one, they don't offer scholarships. Yeah, we don't we don't get scholarships. We don't get none of that sweet stuff. It exactly. Ain't over here, you gotta pay for everything on your own unless you get financial aid. So most of the time, financial aid don't even be messing with y'all. <laughs> well, with me at least. But uh, yeah, it's cool. It's it's an experience, especially the football part. It's lit. Like, you're going to meet a lot of brothers, for sure. Those those going to be your road dogs for the, for your down days and the days you at your highest. They're going to be your road dogs, for sure. <laughs> now, I notice, from what I've noticed about seeing all these Juco players, that they're starting to venture off and doing, like, other things on the side and stuff. Um, I see you're kind of doing some stuff on the side, too, with this group that you're in. You kind of want to shed some yeah. light on that? That's Ose, you feel me? I'm Ose the Don. I got family that's that's Ose. Ose Chalant, shout out to them. Ose Fats, Ose Careless, Ose, uh, damn, I can't remember right now, but the ones I forgot, shout out to you, too. you feel me? We a music group, it's called The Other Side of the Entertainment. It's based on everything I got to do with entertainment. You, <laughs> literally anything you can think of, TikTok, uh, Instagram, music, art, uh, what else? What else is there to do with entertainment? Shit, sports, clothing. everything. 
clothing, everything. Shoes. Just stay patient. It's gonna come. And what are what are you dived into? What are you doing for the group? Me, um, I'm doing music as well as I'm gonna try to get into the clothing. But that's gonna be later on after I get my music going and flowing. You feel me? And then that's just about it right now. Just music and the athlete part. Okay, okay, for sure. Now, what got you into doing the music? Music? I always wanted to do music as a kid. I just never had the balls to. Now I'm older. <laughs> if you know me, I don't give a flying Flintstone what you got to say. <laughs> so, yeah, it's music on SoundCloud, you feel me? I just dropped this on one way. It's on SoundCloud. Go check that out for me. For me. Cool, cool. And uh, do you have any projects covered up so far? Like I got an EP. EP? It's called Baggage Claim. I don't. I can't tell y'all the name. <laughs> it's either I got. It's either Baggage Claim or something else. I ain't gonna tell y'all that one though. And when are we expecting to, for this to drop? Mm, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Yeah, I'm. I'm my my, my worst credit for sure. Kind of talk about what's the process of your music career so far. Like, how like how has this uh, how as I should say how has your group helped you elevate yourself? Uh, they the ones that helped me get started. They the ones that put me in the stool, see what it's like, see what to do, how it go, what's the process, how to break it down, how to write my verses. They the ones that. I would say Shalot, I would say Fats, them the two, that they was in this stool, you feel me? Right, so right. they was in here with me the very first time. Yeah, we was the first ones in this stool. Shout out <laughs> David, you feel me? Love you, bro. <clears throat> but yeah, they, them two was the ones that got me started with everything, so. So yeah, they've kind of like big brothered you into this, you know, kind of pushing you? Yeah, they helped me, I will say big brother, but... <laughs> They put me under their wing for sure. Right, right. They put me sure. under their wing. And I've met Fats, and Fats is a really cool dude. Bro. Yeah, Shout out to Fats God. for watching this. Um, definitely, as a group, like, do you guys ever plan on, like, having a joint EP where you guys are just all on one same project? Um, or, or is this all, like, a solo thing? Gotta stay tuned for that one. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay tuned for that one, buddy. For sure, bro. For sure, man. Dope. Got uh, to see it through, my boy. Definitely, man. I'm excited to see it because you know I've known you going on for what four years now. Uh, like, yeah, since since 2017. Junior, junior year. So junior year going into senior. Four year going on four years, yeah. And honestly, seeing you, you know, venture off into other things other than football and sports and stuff, and seeing you get your artistic side out, I like it, man. You know, I I'm always behind everybody that's trying to do that. You know, very I much support. appreciate it. And I hope uh, everything goes well for you and everything. And, hey, man, just go up from here. Man, I see you got stuff going with this, man. <laughs> I try, man, I try. You, you with them shoes, too, bro, <laughs> man. Y'all doing it big over here, man. I love, I love to see y'all eat. It make me happy, to be honest. I love to see the people around me who love me and who want to see me do better. I love to see them do great as well. For sure, man. It's all I'm love. I'm a team player. You feel me? Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, fam, for coming on. It's all love. Thank you. All right. Peace, y'all.